I mean, I don't know if Kemmer would have survived if we lost the power plant and the coal mine both. It may have just turned into a ghost town. I was um, born and raised here in this community and I did not want to have to leave. I have um, children here, I have parents here, and um, the idea of having to move away and work in another location was pretty scary. So we fully expect you know, a massive expansion of wind and solar and we're for that. But to complement that wind and solar, if, if we're gonna shut off the fossil sources over time, we really need a source like nuclear that's emission free and that's running 24 seven. You know, the U.S. government is providing a very large grant for the construction of that first plant, and it's because they're trying to reinvigorate the supply chain for nuclear. Well, there's no plan for disposal of the waste from new reactors uh, any more than there is a plan for disposal of the waste from the existing reactors. This country, in fact, almost every country around the world with nuclear power does not have a long-term uh, stable disposal solution for that waste. So it's just accumulating above ground in facilities that were never intended to store waste for very long periods of time in a secure fashion. Today's reactors are safe, but uh, natrium is that next level of, of safety. Um, doesn't rely on any outside sources of power to keep the reactor safe, you know, following some unexpected event. With what's happening here with the nature and power plant, um, that's, that's the survival of our community.